Welcome to my disaster of a bathroom. Let me get you filled in on what's going on up here and to what we are going to be tackling today. Welcome to Warp Legacy. So this is the state of the bathroom right now. That's where the tub should go, but that's where the door is. The door should be back here, but it's not. It's where the tub goes. We had to tear all the floor, subfloor, everything out because there was a leak and it's been leaking for years and years and years before we were even here. So the leak was up here where the vent for the plumbing is. Now, instead of fixing the ceiling, we decided let's just put the sink under the leak. No, that's that's not really what we're doing. We we are putting the sink under the leak, but it's not because that's where the leak is. It's just because that was the plan where we were going to put the sink. And we are getting the leak fixed. We're not just going to leave it drip into the sink for the rest of the life of the trailer. Which should have been over a long time ago. So the sink is in place. This is the sink we're using. This is where it's going to be. This is not the faucet we're using. I have a new faucet and a new drain and stuff. But we have to get down here and connect it to something. I don't know why I hooked up the water to this sink the way it is right now. I just did. So this is what we're going to install. I got cheap on eBay. I like cheap. First thing we're going to do is get all this stuff cleared out so I have space to work and get the old faucet off. almost new shiny now we just gotta put this thing in place with that little black gasket like thing there <clears throat> then go underneath I don't know if I can get this or not can't see it we just go underneath and screw this up and that clamps up and hold it together I don't have enough light down there to actually show you though Side. There we go. New faucet is on the sink. Now I've got to connect water to it and then give that water a place to go. Because right now it just goes down through the hole into the bottom. <laughs> Alright, now this piece comes up from underneath like this. That screws in the top. But before we do that, we're gonna put some silicone goop around the edge. So now this piece comes up here. And this piece screws on. Now that piece goes in. This piece. Hole back here. Now you go underneath, and this piece pops in here. And this is what controls this. Then open position, pull that through. Now I have a working. Close. So, because I don't really want to mess around with filming too much while I'm down in the hole, because it's hard enough to get down there and work down there, let alone get down there, work down there, and film, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of putting these together out here. These are actually pieces I'm going to use. I'm just going to put them together this way. You have a piece like this. This is the direction of flow. So the water comes in here. And it goes down here. You don't want to put it so the water has to go over here. Because, if you look, there's a lip in here. So if you try to make it go the other way, the lip will get in the way. 
this way. And Jack thought this was a chew toy. So there's teeth marks all over it. So it'll still work, the inside's still good. So I want this to go together like this. So let's go. Get your purple stuff. Now this is a uh, cleaner and primer. It actually kind of starts to melt the PVC. And this is the glue. Now when you put these together, let's see if it does it. Let go, it wants to pop out. See? So you gotta hold it for a little bit. I don't know why it wants to pop out, I just know it does. Purple in there. I'm impatient. Is the bottom side of that good? Yeah. Okay, that should hold enough at least to do what we gotta do. Should hold enough, period, but you never know. Yeah, see, it's still coming out. Might help if I put some glue in here, too. So now, put it together and give it a turn. Actually, supposed to give it like a quarter turn when you do it. So now I'm just going to hold this for a while. It's an exciting video, isn't it? If you know why it likes to pop out, why don't you let me know? Because I don't know why, I just know it does. And because I'm a perfectionist, I'm just gonna get a rag and wipe around here, even though it's just gonna make the mess worse. Okay, one piece down. I don't know how many to go. This is to go about here. And it goes down and connects to this thing down here. I'm gonna show you my very precise measuring technique. I actually have enough space to do this. It's like about nine inches, so we're gonna make a nine and a half inch cut because it's okay if that spot's a little long. So we're gonna come in here, measure nine and a half, see if we can do this without making the camera go nuts. Now, I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I generally take my knife and just go around and clean off all the burrs, inside and out. Now it's good and clean, stick in, the hole, stick in something else. Got this in for a final dry fit. Now it's time to take it apart and put the final pieces together.
Welcome back to the office. It's nice to have a sink in the bathroom. It'd be nicer to have a shower, but I'll take what I can get. As of recording this, we've crossed to 400 subscribers. I already made a video about that. And we went back to 399. Somebody left. That's not nice. That's okay. I only want people here that want to be here. We are continuing our journey to scratch and claw our way to 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. 4,000 hours is a long time. It's like half a year. But like I said, we're going to continue to scratch and claw our way to the top. This is going to change to 500, so keep them coming. And if you want help in another way, go check out our I have no idea what I'm doing, but I do it anyway t-shirt. That's basically what this whole channel is, is me doing things that I don't really know how to do. Thank you for visiting Warped Legacy. If you like this video, hit that like button and let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for every video I upload. And if you like what we're doing here at Warped Legacy, head on over to our Patreon page and show us some support there. Until next time, I'm Tuan. Go define your legacy.